This is Portland State University. And this is just, you know, hours ago that this is happening. You know, just the last few days. Portland State University, April 7th, Students for Trump meeting crashed by whack job activist. Laughing at liberals is, you know, cool side or whatever, but they're, they're not addressing it for what it really is. And neither was the Gateway Pundit and others that ran stories on it. This isn't a clash of Trump and liberals. This is authoritarian control freaks showing up and shutting down people's free speech, shrieking, yelling, pushing, hitting, attacking, and you hear women screaming. There's a lot of cuss words on this. I don't know if I can air these on the nightly news. InfoWars, no, 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 because it's mainly of the six pro-Trump people that dared have the courage to defend free speech. Most of them are our listeners, and we talk to them, and it's, it's in the video. Or the folks shooting the video talk to them. But that's what's so frustrating about this is they then call the police. This goes on for like an hour. And the police go, sorry, we're not coming to help you. Just like they won't arrest the illegal falling down drunk driving, but they'll arrest you if you're a citizen. It's discriminatory to be a citizen now under this globalist system. Well, here the police won't come, they won't help, and they let these people sit there and attack them. This is literal brown shirt behavior, if you want to use a fascist analogy or parallel. But a lot of them call themselves Maoist Youth Brigades or Red Guard. We've run into them here in Austin trying to shut down our free speech. There's footage of that we're going to show you. And these are dangerous people. And they're so full of themselves, they believe you deserve to be attacked because you support Donald Trump or anybody else. And listen, if it's Donald Trump they're trying to ban today, it's everything else tomorrow. So let's play uh, some of this audio and video. Obviously on the nightly news we can cut in a high def you know, version over the screen for it, but we're on Facebook mentions and Periscope on Twitter. Uh, let's go ahead and go to this right now. <laughs> Look, red power Mexican flag. This is what the foundations and stuff are funding. They've surrounded the building. They've, they've surrounded the uh, reading room. <laughs> Hate has no place, and they define what hate is and then say you have no place. That's called totalitarianism. I want to dis discuss the fact that you had set up a Trump uh, promotion for this meeting uh, in chalk. They had uh, chalked in a promotion for this meeting. Just from you guys, why should students support Trump? To make America great again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, they put chalk on the ground. I and mean, this is, people have to have psychologists come to them when they see the word Trump now. And then, of course, the bosses, the feminists, they all take over. They run everything because they follow the script of the state. They're now given power. Don't you want to know that I see you all and that this is what it looks like to actually get in the way of what, it, uh, of what white supremacy is? Like Obama said, I apologize I'm appointing a white guy. Whites are inherently bad. Just, just do what she says, you're a white supremacist. She won't let them talk. No, 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 no. They try to talk over you, and the hitting and all that comes up, the pushing. This guy's saying you want a bleep, a, a fag to hit you in the face and all this stuff when the guy's done nothing. Like, he must hate gay people because he's a Trump supporter or he's just attending a meeting. He's just being attacked. You want to get effed up by a, say, a faggot? And then, and then, then they use the N-word, they use the other words because they're empowered. They're good. They said they were. You're not. Infowars like, 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 I, I just want them to interrupt you. Like, we're this trying is to... Infowars <laughs> We are going to allow costume parties at Yale. No! Uh, uh, and then that's coming up. Listen to this. Listen. Hi. Like, 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 what they just did to you, like, interrupt. Like, I, I just want them to interrupt you. Like, we're this trying to... Then they act like they're hurt. So you hear the... Uh, 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 and then when they put Trump chalk around the country, just Trump 2016, they have to get hundreds of psychologists. This is in the news. And the news is like, there were collapses today. They saw a Trump sign. We're having to restrict speech. If they see the... And then the dean comes out and says... At, at, at many of the colleges, 
yes, this is a major problem. We are having counseling. I'm sorry for the trauma. And of course, Project Veritas goes out with pot constitutions. People get them and they go on with the pot constitution and go, I'm traumatized. I want it banned. I need a psychologist. They go, yes, give me that horrible thing. I'll take care of it. I mean, this is crazy, folks. This is brainwashing. They have turned them into total mental patients. <laughs> Go to the students against Trump meeting. Hands up the Trump! Hands up the Trump! Hands up the Trump! I am on staff! Remember the other woman that, where they're not, not like uh, at Kansas State or Missouri State? They're not allowing anybody to come on the Greens or anywhere unless you're a social justice warrior. And these white professor women walk over and go, Get out of here! You don't have free speech! Get out of here! And she goes, Give me some muscle! It's the exact same thing. Give me some muscle. And the nightly news will bleep it because we're on some TV and radio stations around the country. But for, for, you know, for all these other channels, you can see it. Look at her book. She's the one that was like, InfoWars. Ah, ah, ah. Now, again, this is her letting her know that she is in command. Oh, like, what they just did to you, like, Oh man, these memes are gold. I'm on staff effort. <laughs> well, she ought to be saying like Roy Batty, I want more life effort. I like what Farrakhan says, we want some of this dirt or we're gonna start tearing this sucker apart. I get something like that. Like I want prosperity, I want jobs, I want money, I want success, I want in to the thing. I, I wanna be accepted, damn right, let's go, let's do it. Or we're gonna tear this apart. That I at least get, but just running around trying to block somebody's free speech because they want prosperity and they want freedom and they're sick of all this leftist freaking communist crazy ass garbage. Jesus, excuse me. Oh yeah, they come in with their with their red guard stuff and then say we need more space. We don't feel safe. Infowars, ah, ah, you have to take over your hurting us. Rah, rah. Oh, help me, I'm weak. Anyway, here we go. Go that way. And look, they're, they're all wearing their Chicano Nation, you know, stuff. It's just as racist as any white supremacist stuff. Look, look, leave. Get out. She's in command. But only because she's part of the state, the offshore corporations, the Ford Foundation, the mega banks that are balkanizing everybody right now and are exploiting this poor idiot's ignorance. Get out. My family are immigrants. Okay. They came here legally. They paid thousands and thousands of dollars. They waited years. I don't see why it's fair to let other people who we have no idea who they are, they could be criminals, they could be anything, uh, just waltz through the country with no sort of repercussion or anything like that. I don't see how it's People of color Trump supporters make me so sad. Well, so this well spoken guy, now he's only allowed to talk because he looks like he's part Hispanic. That, that, and it's, it's whites doing this. These are, these are white racists that run all this. And they're using race as a control system. The Democrats got beat by the Republicans with the Civil Rights Act, so they flipped from being the Klan controllers to now controlling the, quote, minorities who are really the majority in most areas. Metcha. Let's show that Metcha. For those inside the race, everything. For those outside the race, nothing. Metcha. Ford Foundation, government-funded, super hardcore Klan organization for Hispanics. And the university set them up exclusively with La Raza for those inside the race, everything, for those outside the race, nothing. Same slogan, Mecha. La Raza means the race. La Raza. In your face. Mecha. Mecha. If you don't let her talk, I will <laughs> By the way, um, at the, uh, so they've already kicked everybody else out who's white, but those that are Trump supporters that aren't white are allowed to stay. If they try to talk, you shut your mouth, I'm on faculty, or I will F stuff up. And the cops aren't going to come. This is a political takeover. And they want to encourage these people to be aggressive and to be empowered. These are bullies. These are tyrants. These are takeover artists. Okay, this is the reality of what's going on. Okay, this is the reality of what's going on. And I just showed you a bunch of examples of this. The illegal aliens can drive drunk.
Nobody else can. These people can take over, block everything, do what they want. They're calling the police for an hour. This one over an hour will not come. Will not come because she's in charge and she will F stuff up. Now, whites, you get out, unless you're with us. Okay? The only way to combat this shit is to join an organization that has an anti-racist, anti-capitalist stance. That's what I'm talking about. And you need to get out of the f***ing way and that people of color and these people organize themselves. I'm talking to my fellow white folks here because Obama says, I'm sorry, I'm trying to appoint the Supreme Court a white guy. I apologize. But she said, you know, she's white, she's sorry, but she's still enough a human to have be able to speak. And I'm sure she's going to tell them, you know, you need to get on down the road. Here we go. I'm talking to my fellow white folks here. The only way to combat this shit is to join an organization that has an anti-racist, anti-capitalist stance. That's what I'm talking about. And you need to get out of the f***ing way and that people of color and these people organize themselves. That's right, anti, I'm talking to my fellow white folks who are all being bullied here and you saw us run folks off. You feeling scared? You're not feeling wanted right now? We're gonna blame the six whites we ran out of here, okay? And you're gonna join us right now and say you're with us. We'll be nice to you as long as you hate your race and hate capitalism and hate America so that multinationals that are tax exempt can turn us all into slaves. Let's listen to her very, very carefully. You can teach a whole course on these people. I'm talking to my fellow white folks here. Yeah, I know. The only way that has an anti-racist, anti-capitalist stance. That's what I'm talking about. But not the and you need to get out of the f way and that people of color and these people organize themselves. Anti-racist, anti-capitalist stance. And all the little traumatized freshmen where mommy and daddy saved all their money to send them to Portland, they get there and they're just beat up and everything. And then I tell you, four horrible white guys, two Hispanic Trump supporters, dared come and, and sit there and talk and they were physically assaulted, hit and attacked and run out. And then people unfurled flags that say, for the race, everything, those outside the race, nothing. Uh, La Raza Mecha. And then a white woman gets up and says, listen, whites, you want to combat this? You join us and you stand up against the evil white people. Look at her smile of approval right Look at the smoke, smile, yes. The smugness. I mean, these, I, mean, I mean, look at the insanity, the power trip. People with <laughs> chips on their shoulders, taught by TV, everybody hates them. <laughs> That's right. Now, whites just submit, and the people of color, you organize, okay? Because the Ford Foundation... And the mega banks, they run things now, and they're going to teach you how to really be successful. Now they're going to teach you how to be hated, reviled, in your own little poor group, controlled by a local mob boss. Okay, let's keep going. Every single Trump supporter has a full legal name attached to a social security number with a place of residence, an employer, and classes. That information is easy to find online. So let's terrorize people now. Let's go bully them like the Nazis painting the stars and knocking out the windows and crystal line. Here we go. Actually commenting on, yeah. I'd actually rather not be recorded. That's illegal to film people when you... No, it's not. It's in it a public area. It is illegal to film people when they tell you not to film You need to look up the laws. It's ORS 165.540. I know the... You're not being recorded for me in a second if you don't fucking turn it off. And look, no, 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 you can't videotape in this common area. We're the bosses. And it's just like in San Francisco where the two black students come up and beat up the white guy that has like dreadlocks and it's like, yo, 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 I'm down with it. You know, I submit to you. I'm down with my culture. I submit to you. And they're like just beating them up. Then they attack the camera. This is just the total mental illness, folks. And then look, attacking the camera. People, when you, no, it's not, it's it is illegal area. to film people when they tell you not to film you people. To not in a public space. There is no perception of privacy in the middle of a university. But they want to make everything a safe space where they get to bully, but you don't even get speech. Everything they say is a total lie. Look up the laws. It's ORS 165.540. You're not being recorded for me in a second if you don't come Your camera's not going to be working. You're not, oh, look at her, boy. She is in charge. She is pissed. And see, she's a, it's a narcissism the media gives you, inadequacy. Then they sell them. Madison Avenue used to sell, buy this washing machine, buy this dress, buy this sewing machine, smoke these cigarettes, you'll be beautiful and cool. Now they say, hate white people, be out of control, look at Beyonce on the Super Bowl. You know, this is how you fight the establishment, because the Super Bowl told you so. You, you are the biggest chump there is for the establishment. What he has made very clear, though, is that he hates Mexicans, he hates Muslim people. Citation needed! So, so I, think, I think the radical Muslims showed us they hate us blowing stuff up and shooting innocent people. Why are we letting them in and not even checking their IDs? But citizens are. That's all Trump said. And, and Mexico has the strongest border in this hemisphere, so why can't we have some basic vetting? See, they take common sense and invert it. And then she's the faculty member in control 
What he has made very clear, though, is that he hates Mexicans, he hates Muslim people. Citation needed! She's the perfect model. You know, she's got the black dad, the white mom. Um, you know, she's, she's, let's just check statistically, ask her. Uh, you know, she's the perfect social justice warrior. He probably even denounced her mom, because I, I, I know I have white friends who have, you know, mixed children uh, through their granddaughters and, and, and things, and they come and finally denounce them. Even though they put them in college, treat them, kiss their ass, they finally come to grandma and they denounce you as white evil and say, I don't identify, because they've got to choose the hatred they've been indoctrinated with. This is, this is, this is it. And, and she's the boss. She's the faculty. She stands up. She did everything. Mom did everything. Everything she was supposed to do. Followed everything they were told. And now it's her time to take over. For the foreign banks that run her. I want everybody here to know that you just participated in a successful Trump shutdown. You just were in a successful Trump shutdown. You shut down some free speech. Mega bankers are going to shut down your prosperity and your whole future too, you idiot. Mega banks funding all of this. Soros, overthrowing countries, Arab Spring, Ukraine, starting war with Russia, all of these people don't know. They just know, hey, humans are tribal, humans are racist at a base level. You get to go with it because you're a minority. Go crazy. Attack people's free speech. Say whatever you want. Unfurl racist Mexican flags. You know, it's all wonderful. <laughs> She sounds like a Muppet. You're not having your free speech, you understand? And we're going to freak out and call for psychologists if we see the word Trump in chalk. And Infowars, Infowars, ah, ah. I mean, this is, this is their, all their game. I mean, I've been on the street covering these events, and, and someone will say, he touched me, he hit me, and go, ah, ah. it's what they do. It's all, they keep catching all these Muslims running around saying they got knifed or they, they got attacked. It's all made up at the colleges, the fake swastikas, the lacrosse team raped me, all False flag, all made up. It all comes out. Poured in and took it over and blatantly said, we are taking this over now. They wouldn't let us speak, okay? They just, these mainly Black Lives Matter supporters, and no borders supporters, okay? Anti-white. A lot of them blatantly hate white people. Oh, yeah. Okay. And they I mean, how are we going to have a country? I'm not against tr tr trannies and stuff or people stuff. And look, look at this tranny person back here and just all this. These people are so disconnected from reality. It's a fantasy land. They've just shut down people's free speech, but then they want to run around and be transgendered in a country that lets you do that when you'd be killed in all these Muslim countries. And then you look at the place that gave you all this freedom, knock yourself out, I don't care. And you think we're the bigots? Because we don't want China to have a 35, 40% tariff on us and we don't have one on them? Now we're anti-Chinese? Okay. Anti-white. A lot of them blatantly hate white people. Oh yeah. Okay. And they took they, they took it over. Now that's it. It's anti-white. This guy. When you get him on the show, he gets it all. And folks, it just goes on. It just goes on from there. It's sick. Women, Hispanics, blacks, whatever quote group you think you're part of, you're being totally manipulated, totally chumped. Uh, they know that whites have been integrating and and fighting the system for hundreds of years to end slavery worldwide. They know that it all started in Europe to end slavery. They know that Christians are bringing people up and ending balkanization. They want to end that. And they have taken the movement over to make sure that whites get scared and become racist and don't work with you and don't try to bring you up into the economic system uh, and ensure that everybody's poor. So this is to make sure middle class whites mainly, there's a lot of other middle class people, but whites make up the biggest group of that because they're still the majority there. Uh, this is to make sure you get hurt real bad and people are scared of you and don't work with you. And I know it's real cute and fun to have the psych warfare universities telling you it's okay and they love you. They're there to hamstring you and handicap you in life, okay?